Good noon, my dear students. Today we are going to study about the additional features of the Windows Seven, and this is the last part of the chapter more on Windows Seven. So let's start. Windows Seven offers a variety of new features, which have simplified our daily task. The salient features are as follows. So the first additional feature of the Windows 7 is Snap. Suppose you want to work on the two windows side by side. First of all, open the window. This is the first window, my computer. And also I want to work on the window where I want to work on the pictures. So this is the second window. And if I want to work side by side, then what we have to do drag one of the window to the left edge of the screen and drag this right window to the right edge of the screen you will see both the windows display side by side and also dragging the one window to the upper edge of the screen will take up the entire screen so this is what about snap so the next feature is shake suppose i am working on the three windows simultaneously and i want to close other two windows and i want to work only on the one window so what will i do without actually closing it from here i just click on the top of the window where i want to work and without releasing the mouse just shake it so i am selecting this window and i am shaking it so after shaking you will observe that every another open window will be disappear means every another open window will be minimized and only the one window where you are currently working or want to do work will be open and if you want it on the full screen then just drag it to the top of the screen and release it so this is all about shake with the touch screen sensitive that is a hardware and windows 7 that is a software we can use our fingers to browse online flip through the photo albums and shuffle files and folders using touch screen we can even finger paint in the paint software the use of touch screen can also be experienced in the mobile phones tablets atms ticket collection terminals and etc so there is another very interesting feature of windows 7 is arrow flip 3d This feature enables you to preview all the open windows as a stack. To activate the arrow flip 3D, press window key and tab key. You will see windows will automatically direct you to keep the desktop displaying the open windows. To select and view the desired window, hold the window key and use the tab key to scroll through. as i am tapping the tab key to scrolling that how many windows are opened as the required window appears on the stack release both key like i want to open my computer so i am releasing both keys so it will be open in front of you so this is the next feature that is arrow flip 3d So next we will discuss that how Windows 7 has made searching easy for us. Windows 7 allows us to quickly search for more things in more places in our computer. Simply type some text on the start menu like here in this box you just have to type some text and click on the search button. Like I am just typing the text like songs. there is no song in the video so i am typing here class 3 so the content related to the class 3 will appear as a document and files in front of you you will immediately see the list and the relevant documents like pictures music email on your pc like i want to search class 3 documents 
so here it will appear documents only the search results are further grouped by the category like here the documents and files so these are the categories you can see so this is the best feature of the windows 7 that we can also search from the start menu button After the start menu button you can also search from here. Search computer option is given here. Just you have to write the things you want to search. Like I want to search pics. I have written here pics. So the content related to pics will disappear. Here some pics you can see on the screen. And also the processing bar goes on that there are many more results related to the pics. So in this way you can have your searching very easy without actually going into the drive. Or also we can choose one single pic or one song. So I am writing here Kalimba. Kalimba is a song name. So I think the song related to Kalimba is searching like you can see and the power processing and the result is in front of you. The song name Kalimba is here. So this feature made our searching very easy. So the next feature of the Windows 7 is its taskbar. The Windows 7 taskbar is very flexible and provides an easy navigation facility. We can also pin and unpin our favorite programs. Like if you want to use that program next time, we do not have to go into the programs. You just have to pin it here and you can use. For example, I want to pin my movie maker program onto the taskbar. So I will just click right click from the mouse and here is the option pin to taskbar. You can see there is an icon appears on the taskbar as a movie maker. So it's an ever ready icon. Whenever I want to use the movie maker, I can use it from here. You can also unpin it. Like right click on this, here is the option unpin this program for task from the taskbar. So click it, it will be unpinned. The next feature of the Windows 7 is Arrow Peak feature. This feature allows us to turn the open windows transparent and makes the desktop screen visible. For example, we are working on these three windows and if we click or just take our arrow to the show desktop button, it will make all the windows transparent. So this is very interesting feature of the taskbar known as arrow peak feature which makes all the open windows transparent and makes the window screen or the desktop screen visible to us. The next feature we have in Windows 7 is Jump List. Jump List is a new feature in Windows 7 which allows us to view the pinned documents, songs, pictures or websites that we use frequently. To open a Jump List, you just have to right click on the program. It will display a list of recently modified documents within that program. For example, the Jump List for the Internet Explorer shows recently opened websites. You can jump to any website by clicking on it. Jump list also appears on the start menu. Simply click the arrow next to the program. You will see the recent files and folders you have opened within that program. So this is the feature known as jump list. The other feature of the Windows 7 is Windows Media Center. Watching TV, movies and other video content on our PC is easier than ever. With a cable connection, we can watch TV and record our shows using the Windows Media Center. You can have Windows Media Center on the start button, then all programs and here you will find the Windows Media Center.
the screen will appear like this. If we continue it, you will see many features on it. You can express this and customize it. Record TV and live TV setups. You can have many options there for playing, rewinding, forwarding, stop the button and etc. So the last feature of the Windows 7 is Windows Mobile. Windows Mobile software empowers advanced, easy to use devices that allows the users to send and receive email, browse the internet and hundreds of the applications available to extend the platform. Windows Mobile works differently depending upon the place, time and the nature of the work. So the first additional feature of the Windows 7 is Snap. Suppose you want to work on the two windows side by side. First of all, open the window. This is the first window, my computer. And also I want to work on the window where I want to work on the pictures. So this is the second window. And if I want to work side by side, then what we have to do, drag one of the window 